1983. Cruising at 41,000 feet, and nobody knows they're a few minutes from disaster. Air Canada Flight 143, a brand new Boeing 767. Up front, Captain Bob Pearson and First Officer Maurice Quintal. They're flying from Montreal to Edmonton. <laughs> Easy route, but there's a quiet mistake on the ground. <sighs> the fuel was measured in pounds, then converted wrong into kilograms. So the plane takes off with barely half the fuel it needs. Mid-flight, <laughs> a warning chirps, then another. Suddenly, both engines flame out. Silence. No thrust, no power. At 41,000 feet, the 767 becomes a 130-ton glider. They've got one shot to land, and the nearest runway is far. Then Quintal remembers something insane. An old airbase at Gimli, <laughs> Except Gimli is now a racetrack, with families watching cars. Pearson uses glider skills from his younger days, fights the dead plane down. They drop fast, too fast. The nose gear collapses. Sparks scream across the runway. The plane skids to a stop seconds from the crowd. No engines, no power zero fatalities. One conversion error nearly ended 69 lives, and two pilots turned a falling jet into a miracle landing. 